to big links, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> big links, big up yourself, you know. People, big links is one of the artists who will reach out because... Oh, my God. Because me go out jail seven party. And I wanted to look up jail seven. Mm-hmm. So, me couldn't find someone who... Well, me get a gimbal from Kevin British, but then me need a double of J7 name in it. So my daddy find who? No. Big Z. And then me say, him a give me a double with J7 name. Big up the whole big league crew, you know. Young stay, but big up yourself, you the funny line. Big up, people. Same. People, big Z. Him just support me I'm there so right now let's get one with the interview mm-hmm. so big zeke i know but on my research um i find out you are actually a dj you're a dj at start mm-hmm. back in the day so you're so big zeke you started djing at 13. tell the viewers your dj name well, at that time, I started DJing when I was 11, really, but 13 officially as I had my first own radio show and I played in my in, in, a, in, a, in a club, in an actual nightclub, um, Dreams Night Spot in Harsden, where I had to do a lot. Like, you see, when I look at you, yeah, like, yeah, you're a lot younger to when I started, but you remind me of myself. Oh, you know, it's because... like, what's it not? May I tell you why? Let me tell you why you remind me of myself. Kaya Fistan. I used to have to be able to stand on um, two milk crates to reach the turntables. You understand? Because we're little, you see me? And we have to play up our big son, and them can't make the big son a small son. So we have to pick up for his small little self and yeah. find something for make we reach the level of down, you see me? Yeah. And, um... Because uh, that's where you get... Because you play a son that have them. So that's where you get the fresh prince to ask them for, right? Well, in put it this way, the fresh there's been there's been at previous fresh princes of Harsden before me, before me and my time, you understand? And it's just it's a legacy for 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 North West tradition, well, especially Harsden tradition to where we're the home of reggae music in England. You understand? And it's like we always have we've always had big artists from we're talking the seventies, like we there's a band called the Simmerons, right? They was the first band to um govern Bob Marley. They even have a blue badge outside their house and stuff. And um it, it goes from as far as like the sixties, seventies up to the eighties, nineties, early two thousands and now. And um yeah, Gappy Ranks is obviously my main inspiration as as an artist. And um yeah, he was he, he, he gave me the crown. He said, Yeah, big Zeke's it's your time, bro. Go and fly the flag for the place, you know what I mean? And Harsden is, it's 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 where I've grown all my life, you know. Furnished Road, NW10. Um, I got my family. We got family businesses in Harsden as well. Hawkeye. We got the trainer shop. We got the food shop, the record shop. So Harsden is a thing where yeah, me and my family we put on for Harsden. You know, we we love Harsden to where we generate income into our community. You understand? So yeah, Fresh wow. Prince of Oz and uh, yeah, right now them call me the Fresh Prince. And and uh, me call myself the Fresh Prince and other uh, people them. So it, it it stems from the teacher himself, Gappy Rank. So go and be up Gappy, speedy recovery, one of the greatest to ever do it. You understand? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So big Zeke. So when you are DJ, what what was your DJ name like? Oh, it was Lico Zeke's. It was wow. Lico Zeke's. I didn't do little Zeke's as in like we. Sp- I, I had it was little with two K's. So instead of the two, in t- instead of the two T's, I changed it for the two K. So it's little Zeke's. And then when I got to that, the age of sixteen slash seventeen, um, R.I.P. Vigo Wells, the big man. He's the one who pushed little Zeke's as a selector. He made me the youngest DJ ever to do it at the time. He made me the youngest DJ to. He made me make history for Harsden. And um, yeah, I feel like. With, with with the sound thing, I my my uh, it was I owed it a lot to him 
Hence to why I kept my loyalty to BFM 101.9. And yeah, we just we just carry the flag. We just, you know, when people pass away and stuff, we always try and we don't, we, we're not on this RIP stuff and for the sake of it. And um, we're not here just trying to forget about people because things and times change. But at the same time, we can't forget about the people who set it for us. So RIP Vigo Wells, I understand? One of the generals that set for me as a DJ slash a sound man. So yeah, oh, well. Rico Zeke's. <laughs> People, you hear that? Oh. So people, people, so people think, um, people you think, and me, and me alone use milk crate. I was big deep about the milk. Say that again, you cut out a bit. Can you hear me? I want to ask you about the milk crate. I can hear you, yeah. The milk crates. Is that what you said? Yeah. What, what yeah. I had, the fact that I had to stand, yeah, one milk crate wasn't enough. I had to stand on two. Uh. So if I didn't have the, if the milk crates weren't around, then we so that a couple of times I I stood on uh, uh, like another DJ's record box or I would take all my records out of my record box at the time and stand on the record box but it was always milk crates that like radio always had the milk crates dreams always had the milk crates so yeah we had to stand I had to stand on it it was either that or I couldn't play no music you understand and I met the man picked me up <laughs> like me let me share the engineer to share you my um, crate this is what I use now for my show. You understand? Traditional. <laughs> I love that. Okay, okay, okay. I love that. Give the viewers a background of how you got into DJ. How I got to? Um, give the um, view viewers a background of how you got into DJ. Well, my dad, my father, just like yourself, my father had... Um, one of the biggest sounds in in London, South London as well. It was um, it was called Sufferer Sound, and um, yeah, they had a big sound system. But my dad was like, my dad was everything. He was he, he was the engineer, and then he was the DJ, then he was the MC. So it's like growing up as a young child, I used to always see my dad in the living room um, just playing music, and like um, it's just a part. It's in my blood. It's in my family. So it was only right. I thought that. One day I wanted to have my own turntables, my own records, and just do my own thing. And um, yeah, my family always supported with that, like RIP to my mum. My mum used to always buy me like records every Saturday when we go shopping, even though I used to save my money as well. And um, yeah, like every time you get a new record, all you want to do is play it. It's like, it's different to how it is now, MJ's. And like now we're in, in, in technology. That's the life we're in right now. Like I, I I come from an era where it's it was very expensive to be a DJ. Like um, yeah. if you, you you can't leave your records in certain places in your household because they could they can warp as in that they can melt. You understand? Um, you can easily break a needle that that we use as a DJ to play our music. Um, there's a lot we can break our we can break the belts in our turntables. We can break the crossfader. Do you know what I mean? There's so much. So it was it was very difficult. But when you're a good sound man, you know how to maintain and and yeah, keep surviving and stay solid in the in in the DJ industry. As in to now, you just got to plug things in and just play. <laughs> you got the luxury, like Daddy can tell you that. <laughs> well, well, well. Hold on. Let me take a break. Hold on. Let's take a break. Hold on. Oh, 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 okay. Okay. People, okay. a commercial break. Let me just play um a big big commercial and big up everyone that's bought a badge. Okay, okay, the team, okay, okay, yeah, man. Okay. Big big. Yo, Din Din, you know we keep it read all the time and not sometimes. And we have love in our heart all the time and not sometimes. We build champion, we're gonna kill champion. You understand? You get that? Yo, it's the Fresh Prince of Austin. 
Bad my friend, me not in a dem. No. Dutty Babylon, me not in a dem. No way. Keep a grip and parasite, me not in a dem. No. Me not in a dem. No. Me not in a dem. Me a live my life, me not in a dem. No. No look, no strike, me not in a dem. And a five star general for life, me not in a dem. Me not in a dem. Me not. Me not in a dem, cause my shot of them, them are the real men And my shot of them, them not in a friend Dog, me not in a dem, cause of them no want to see a win again Kill them with love, come on a win a man Yo, me not in a dem, happy free my breakfast, lunch and me dinner them Stacks up in fat, can't make that pin a man Provide for my family, me feel like a winner missing Hashtag happy and the people I sing again Blue fly go a yard upon the spur tree ill again With couple of my dogs all I met and I feel again Brock, we a brock, we'll leave a weed, I get feel again Win a two party, make money and feel again Again. Step out for shout new designer kick again Two bills pick alone, we are box and kick again No whole heap of good you, whole heap of killer them No young like fully but no whole like killer them Me not in a, don't you worry on me not in a If I quit a parasite, me not in a How about brother? Oh, go on daddy Why well, engineering told me in a row there and over there I do engineer work you know, make sure everything go right <laughs> Yeah, 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 tell him about the boy, Ray, 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 Ray. My prayer, please, tonight, don't come easy, no, Papa. <laughs> Trust me. I have to bet them now, you know, man. because... Yeah, man. And, and a luxury of Barney, you see me? You see it. Hard, hard work, man. Hard work. Hard, hard work, work and dedication, and blood. Trust yes, me. Yes, brother. See you, man. See you, man. Once mm -hmm. I pick up everybody when they're on the live right now, pick up to the people that we are by the bike. Remember, I'm birthday. I hope this weekend coming on Saturday, I'm birthday. We won't do a big birthday party, as he said, because um, um we have a death in the family. My wife um, that passed away, so he might go um, and see him for the last time. So because of that reason, I really can't do something. Yeah, man, if everyone in the live, if you can buy a badge, you get me? Buy a badge and support the young youth, man. Support the future, you get me? This is what we're here doing. You understand? Yeah, man. And um, it's supposed to up in a minute, play about Big Zeke's, get him back on the line. Yo, Din Din, you know we keep it real all the time and not sometimes. And we have loving about all the time and not sometimes. We build champion, we're gonna kill the champion, you understand? You, you there? Yo, it's the Fresh Prince of Austin. Mmm, bad, bad my friend, me not in a dem. No, yeah. the, the, the Babylon, me not in a dem. No, yeah. Keep a crypt and parasite, me not in a dem. No, me not in a dem. No, me not in a dem. No. Me, I live my life, me not in a dem. Mm. No, no, look, no strike, me not in a dem. Man, a five star general for life, me not in a dem. Big up yourself. Big up yourself, MJ. Thank you for waiting, people, and listening. Anyway. Upon doing my research, I found out that you kept a raise at a 15. Tell us how that happened. Um, well, again, being a Hasden resident and um, doing a lot of good things in the community at the time, which that like, you're always going to have good support. When when you got good, clean-hearted people around, especially in, in your community and people that want to see you do good, they're always going to be here to support you. So the club owner was a very good family friend and um, also a very good general for Harsden at the time as a business owner he owned Dreams Nights Club in Harsden that's literally right next to Iceland and um, no one no one ever kept a under 18s rave in this venue as yet and he asked me to do it and um, obviously thinking about like I was doing my GCSEs that year so it was a bit difficult like my parents weren't really too fond of it but um they just because it was of who it was it all went to plan so i made my flyers i was running out going to every school just part of, like giving just promoting 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 and yeah like i had a, a mad sold out event and obviously at the age of 15 you don't you like it's mad isn't it like in, in back in my time it's crazy like it's different to how it is now like three thousand pound Back then, it's probably like now it's probably about ten bags easy. Do you get it? Like ten thousand easy, and yeah, I made that. I, I went home with three thousand pounds, and I was fifteen years old, and that made me like. It made me see different things, as in like yeah, I upgraded all my equipment. I didn't want to waste money. I always wanted to invest it into my craft, so I used to buy a lot of dub plates and get them to to play your dub plates. At the time, you had to go and 
get them pressed on vinyl. And it was always £25 of vinyl at the time. So I did a lot with the music. So all everything I did from like having my first event, I always put it back into my music. I never wanted to go back to my parents and ask them for anything or ask them for this. And yeah, from that, from the age of 15, I never looked back, literally. I've always just built up on myself. Wow. Wow. I know it was uh, it was definitely a wow factor because <laughs> it was sold out. So yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Because you know, one of my aims is to reach to the um, you know, X Factor. And that is one of my big um um things. But to do um something like that in um at the age of fifty, that's totally bigger. But yeah, and I just feel that what you're what you're doing right now, I'll be honest, because obviously we're living in a different time now. It's you're literally doing everything I was doing, and all I'm gonna say to you is, is that make sure that you just stay focused on on school, and that your work and like for me, yeah, it's, it's I shouldn't really say this, but I, I I will say it. But I only cared about English, maths. A little bit, I, like, I like science, but I didn't like science like that. But English and maths is so vital. And I came home with two A's eventually when I went to secondary school. I got an A in drama because I love to do drama. I love to, because I have a big personality and, and you have this. Do you understand? So um, I think even something like Britain's Got Talent will be better for you. Like X Factor, do you want to be a singer? Do you want to be... Like X Factor is more for vocal vocalists. You're a big sound man, you know. You got talent, so it's like yeah. Britain's Got Talent will probably be like one of the great, one of the best platforms for you to even try. And I believe that it will work out for you. I know a few people that's done like The Voice Kids and Britain's Got Talent and X Factor, and it could be very energy draining. So my thing is always stick to what you love and just do what you love to do. Do you understand? And when I watch you, like. Enough people just know about MJ. I knew about you from a long time ago. As I said, you got a, you got a big Zeke's dub before anybody. You was playing hashtag happy on dub before enough DJs. You see me? I say that loud and proud. Before enough big, big, big DJs. Yeah? He's playing it before them. And to watch that, yeah. I never feel when I posted it, my phone was getting mad. You had your, you had all your glasses. <laughs> you had all your hat. I was thinking, yeah! This young king's gonna bust. You get me? So, yeah, man, we build champion when I kill champion, you understand? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks for those guys, that man. You represented NW10. Uh, mm -hmm. How proud of you are, um, how proud of you are, uh, how proud of you, I, how proud of you to be represented in the N area? <laughs> I'm I'm proud to represent my area. As I said, it's a, I do this based on tradition, and um, I do it more based off like the history. So we've always had big artists. Like I name you a few. You got Gappy Ranks, right? Tubby T. You have Redman. You have Mr. Williams. Um. Oh my gosh, there's so much I could say. But these are all artists who I look up to in the music business, and especially from NW10. You have to, you have that like home in it. Everything starts from home. And um, these are artists that was getting on tour. And I always said to myself, like, right, when I first started making music, I made my first song in 2009, but I didn't take the artist side of the business serious because my 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 passion my love was djing entertaining the like the crowd the clubs that like, control and everything like you do this i've seen you do this and that like, it's it's so impressive yeah because of how young you are and obviously you're not perfect and you're not the best you're only going to get better so this is why i'm saying to you you have to always make sure you stay focused on on the schoolwork because it's only going to better you Knowledge is power, and the more you have is the more better you are at your craft, no matter what you're doing. Do you get me? So, um, 
yeah, like just keep going, man. It's just one of them yeah, ones. Right. We represent, we represent music in a general. It's not just NW10. It's just music, like reggae music. Do you understand, like in general. But yeah, it's nothing but love for my hometown. I carry hard than NW10 everywhere I go. You get me? We got Russ yeah. Millions in the live as well. You get me? Hey Russ, I need you to bust little little links on a mad dub plate. Russ, we got pistols, you know. You Russ know his dub plates are worth million. He he don't he really does dubs, you know. I think he's only done one dub and that's for Tony Matteron. So I'ma make sure I get you that. Just remember I told you today. I'ma make sure I get you Russ Millions on dub plate. Russ, yeah? we got pistols. I wanna build up like the world Russ um um guy because you know. Uh, we have well, RD, we have H, uh, um, Tyon Wade, we have uh, loads. And you have to remember, you know, as Russ as a young artist as well, because Russ is very young himself, yeah? And um, he's doing things like, you just mentioned the artist, RD. Nobody knew about RD before Russ dropped his song. Do you understand? And you got to give love and respect to Russ because he has a platform. And he used it, and now he's changed someone's life. Do you understand? Forever. So. Russ is it, like a close family friend, you know. Russ, big up yourself, you know, my age. The big up Seven, Russ, 10 so times. How, tell time. him how old you are, little Lynx. I'm um, seven years old, going to eight of, in about. It's his birthday on, on the weekend. You get me? If everyone's in the live, if you can buy a badge, support little Lynx. It's his birthday on the weekend. Buy a badge. Even I bought a badge. And that's the first ever badge I've bought. Literally. And so, right. yeah, man. Are you okay if you could get an interview with me? If you're okay for an interview with me. So, put a thumbs up if you're okay with an interview with me. Because, you know, I'm interviewing Big Geeks right now. I've interviewed many um, artists. He's interviewed... Aye, aye, and I love the fact that you have one of the biggest generals in dance or music right as as in name is in bounty killer he's always reposting your videos yes. he's always he's acknowledging everything about you and like I, it just makes me happy you know because obviously as i said your dad's my friend and um it's just so good man it's, it's it's so good it's it's very rare you see there's a lot of young children now doing the doing djing and stuff but i believe that that's more down to the social the internet and stuff I believe your thing is very organic. It's very, it's in your blood. You was born to do this. Do you understand? So, this is why I'm very strict. I'm telling you, make sure you just stay focused at school. Yeah, every subject. Even though I said I only cared about this, I'm only going. I can only tell you about me because we're having a real interview here, and there's many things that I've told you that I haven't told the world. So it's only right. I just have to keep it 100. We t t t talk the truth. You understand? Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, and people, I said it on the interview with um, with, um, Neville on Jamaica um, ja uh, on Small Jamaica. I'm gonna say it again: school is a must. Or if you don't wanna go to school, and you're very sick. School is a must because you know I'm having to face a bit of a bit of sickness. I'm a bit coffee today. But I still went to school. I have to face the pressure, and I still went to school. So no matter what you, you no, even if I really want, even I'm thinking of going to school on the weekend right now. I love my English teacher. I don't care what school is a must. Love that. And my mum is a teacher too. Love that. So you're gonna you're gonna get so far in life, man. Trust me. Um, I made the switch officially 2016. Um, I released the song called Yo um, with my brother Emac, which eventually got signed by um, Universal Records. Polydor, Big Up Brock Out, Ray Paul. Five years 
So yeah, five years I've been a recording artist and I've seen so many things in the short space of five years. I've done so much. I've, I've done a lot. So I'm very like thankful for all the supporters, all the true genuine supporters. And yeah, like expect bigger things. So I can say right now I've kind of like taken a break off all the socials. I haven't been on socials but properly for like the last three months because I've got a lot of personal stuff going on in my life. And my, that's where more time you got to, when you want to focus, it's not about giving 90%. You always got to try and give 100. So, um, yeah, the music, when, when you lot are going to know, you lot will know, the whole world's going to know when we're here, we're ready, firing 100% again. But we're ready to go, but right now we're just gradually taking our time because the music industry can get very energy draining because of the people that are in the business. You know, um, dangerous because of the dance. I said it in an interview with Jerry Rogers, and the um, gun song are killing the people out. Mm -hmm. Too much gun songs are killing the people out. Too much gun songs are killing the people out. Sorry, the scars, but most of the gun songs are killing the people out. Some of the people can't take pressure because a gun still needs a gun. And gun. Very true. Very true. And and the thing is, um, I don't. If you listen to my music, I don't really, I I don't really swear on my music. Yeah. Um, and I don't really, I don't actually talk about guns in my music. The last song I released official, which is a big collaboration with Ra Ra. Shanti, Styler, and Sidon. There's a few references, and obviously, if the the man can tell you, like I was out of my comfort zone, but it's like it's something that I can do, but it's not a part of my brand, if you know what I'm trying to say. But when you're doing a collaboration, it's it's always like yeah, you can get away with some stuff. So yeah, it was a cheat code I used, <laughs> but you're right. You're right. We need to make music to better the playlist and you know to make the people them just want vibe and party again and that's what I do upliftment yeah. that's what's got me to where I am today do you understand yeah mm -hmm. you know I you know because you passed in my show last week and I also saw it passed in this live anyway mm -hmm. I must also applaud you you for work you have done for the youth more can be done what advice would you give to the government so want to say the last bit what advice what advice would you give to the government like to see how about well, advice would give the um help like to speed towards the youth now. what advice would you give to the government or what would you do uh, just listen to Mar listen to Marcus Rashford. <laughs> That's all I told him. It's worked already. I don't see why it won't work again. Just listen to Marcus Rashford. Another young king that's doing so much for us. Yeah. Yes. Anyway, what's the song that put Big Zeke's out? Yo. Like it went from yo, then um, I dropped um, a f like it was basically a freestyle with them need on the Steph London hurting me cover. Then I released it's a lot of money that that blew up. Then I released you understand, and um, I I did some works in between as I dropped a little EP for the ladies one called Empress. Um, I was doing like a lot of label features um so yeah i was really like just understanding the music business and just make trying to make money from it because i quit my jobs to do music i used to work 50 60 hours a week and um now it's just my music like i just do my just, my music pays me my music feeds my family my music does everything for me obviously the corona's gave man a big hit we've missed out on so much but money comes and goes so we have to make sure that we don't make that make man lose the focus music's forever so you can never stop making music you understand 
Okay. So yeah, I've got a large okay. catalogue. So it's like, obviously, hashtag happy um, is my biggest achievement independently because obviously previously being re in record deals, it made me learn and understand the business. And um, yeah, I just made my own YouTube channel. And yeah, I dropped hashtag happier style OG. And then I dropped another version with DWE, which blew up crazy. And up to this day, happy still pay me. So yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> Big up style like you know, call up. I link up style already and yeah. Yeah man, big up style anyway it's done. Spear and tone badness. Anyway, what's new for Big V? What's new? Um I've lost half a stone. So yes, yeah, my clothes are fitting me again. <laughs> uh now nah, ramping. But um What's new? Boy, to be honest with you, MJ, there's a lot that I really want to say, but I can't say due to, obviously, management, um, et cetera, et cetera. But just expect... You understand. You understand. But just expect, like, very big, big stuff. Just big things. Big things. Just expect big, big, big things. Things that music... That's on a different level, production wise, vocal wise, mix masters wise, just, just everything, visuals, everything. We're about to turn it all up. You get me? Yeah. And I want to big up a London sexy weekend. Just joined in style of British and blue. Big up everyone who's checking in right now, anyway. Um, yeah, I understand. Before the last question, I would ask. I want to ask you this question. Where do you see yourself? Where do I see myself? In the future. In the future? I don't know. It's very, it's a very hard one to, um, to answer. Like, as where in, would like, you find yourself in the future? Like, Basically, I'm I, I'm just I just want to be better than I am today. From I got life, I could watch my kids grow big, and maintain everything I've got, and just keep making music. I'm I'm just happy, and I know it it will only get better. I just want to better. Like I'm 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 happy. Do you understand? I'm I've never been this happy in my life. So um, this this is how I want to live. Ever since my mom died, I'm little little MJ. It's like. I take every day as it comes, you know. I try not to make plans because I made a plan with my mom before she died and that was, we was all meant to go to Jamaica the year she died. So ever since then, I, I don't, I'm not good at making plans. Even if I want to try, I'm not good, but I have a vision. And when I have a vision, I just move now. I move fast. Do you understand? So you never know. I, 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 might, I, might, I might do something crazy next month and it might change my life. You understand so it could be it's just one of them ones where we we don't waste a day ne never say you know what today's today's what wednesday i'm gonna wait till friday to do something no because you still got thursday you understand so we take every day as it comes love every time my young jenna before I ask the next question, I just want to um, um, ask you to drop your socials. My socials, Big Zeeks on everywhere. One Big Zeeks. Just B-I-G-Z-E-E-K-S. Um, yeah, just Big Zeeks. You can find me. There's only one Big Zeeks on Instagram. Okay. Um, yeah, you see. Everywhere. Big Zeeks, Big Zeeks, everything Big Zeeks. And we're verified nearly everywhere, so there's only one. Fresh Prince of Hasden. Big up all my big up all my imitators though. I see you. Love you lot too, Anyways, man. <laughs> last question. What would you, Big Zeeks say to this idiot? Mad! Hey! He who, who, who thought of that question? A research. I thought of that question. 
Nah, that is a sick question, you know. I, I, what would Big Zeke say to Lickles? Or what would... Mad! <laughs> <laughs> That's cold, I don't even know. Okay? So when they tell him, all of them, the panini, I'm going to reach through them. And Aye, go that research, mad, and my daddy. <laughs> this is your side, and this is the next. Person side, the man have everything like for that. I love I mean. that. I love that, man. I love that. I love that. That is sick. Do you know what's mad, yeah? Bruh, what would Big Zeke say to Little Zeke? Yo, Big Zeke said to Little Zeke, yo, Little Zeke, you're bad, you know? Yo, Little Zeke, don't stop, you know? Yeah, Little Zeke staying at school. Everything I've been saying to you, my, my, my little bro, is exactly what I would tell myself because I'm only telling you based off experience now i'm not that old like do you know what i mean i'm 33 i'm not that old but i'm old enough to see the changes and to live through it do you understand and understand a lot of things so being around it's all about surrounding yourself with good people if not just surround yourself with your family do you know yeah, the less friends good. you have and the less people you know mj is it's not a um it's not a bad thing, you know, but it's it's always gonna be better for you the older you get. Did you get it? Big up yourself. Yeah, man. Big up yourself. Love my guy. I need to um 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 link up with you, DM you, and I can put a link up. And yeah. When's your birthday on Saturday? Yeah, my birthday's on Saturday. If you wanna get some bowling, bowling and, and, tell uh, daddy to call me on a one away and 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 we'll we'll try to work something out but i'm gonna have an i'm gonna have a nice gift for you yeah and lucia if you wanna um, come people if you wanna come and um, do some bowling with me um it's gonna be the lucian bowling so Sally g russ the world of you man um lucian. little uh, mj yeah I, I'm I, I'm buying you a Chelsea shirt. Nope. nope. I'm, I'm gonna buy you a Chelsea oh, shirt. Oh, oh. <laughs> listen, 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 Man United are playing tomorrow evening. T tonight. So I'm not giving up on them. Well, they look forward to the next I'm on them. I am still keeping my Manchester United shirt, and I'm gonna get the new one. I'm gonna get the new one for my brother. So MJ, MJ, I can't buy you the, I can't buy you the new Chelsea shirt as a gift for your birthday. Nope. I, you you can buy me it, but I'm not gonna wear it. Are you gonna what are you gonna do? Put it on your wall. I'm gonna sign it and everything. No. I'm gonna no, sign it. No, I'm not. I, and you know what? I'm gonna I'll, I'll get I'll get some of the Chelsea players to sign it for you because I know some of them. Oh maybe. Uh, or maybe oh, oh, maybe. oh, oh, maybe. <laughs> oh, you could sign it and then I could um just um burn it, just burn it. Oh, I'm not happy now. That's the that's your dad. That that's your dad. Don't make your dad fool up your head, okay? That's not a nice thing to say. How are you gonna no, no, burn? No, no, I, did, I, I didn't say that. My advice is you sign it, him sign it, and just give it away. <laughs> Okay, you know what? I'll it sometimes. You know what? Hey, Daddy, Daddy, you're going crazy. How are you going to make me sign it and him sign it? Then you're going to get away. Do you know how much that shirt's going to be worth in like 15, 20 years? Are you mad? I'll you... put it on my wall and I'll hang it on my wall and keep it with me every time. That like, You know when I'm leaving the house and get living in my own future, I'm just going to keep it and just hang it up and never wear it. Yeah, yeah, I hear you, man. Say nothing, man. I've got a nice birthday gift for you, man. Don't watch nothing. You hear that? Uh, the birthday gift could be... Um, get me a Manchester United t-shirt. Get me a Manchester United t-shirt. Sorry, but I don't support man. Sorry. Thanks, anyway, big respect to the <laughs> I love MJ. Keep up the good work. I appreciate you. Keep playing my music. Appreciate you, my guy. Big up your dad. Keep making your dad proud. Make your family proud. Stay focused at school. 
And yeah. everyone just support this young boy's journey, man. Do you understand? Big Z, before you leave, let me play one of the, um, the songs that is running the place for you right now. Thank God we have life. Mm, you understand? See you, Hashtag happy. 